Hey everyone, so the way that our new math curriculum works is that at the beginning of every math day, we start with 20 minutes of number corner, which is like a warm up for the kids. And then that moves into our main bridges lesson, which lasts about an hour and 10 minutes. What I'm gonna show you today are some clips of a bridges lesson in action, and I'll kind of be talking you through the different pieces as we're watching, so that you have a better idea about what your kids are doing in math every day. This is a Bridges second grade math lesson about place value. A big idea about Bridges is that it's not just paper pencil tasks, it's also hands-on learning. Here, the students are sorting popsicle sticks into groups of tens and ones. They then bring up their sticks to sort into the ones, tens, and hundreds places. Here, Mrs. Strand is asking students to give guesses for how many popsicle sticks the class has all together. This is to teach them about the concept of estimation. The students are now sorting their popsicle sticks into the appropriate place value groups of ones and tens. They are learning that ten tens end up making a hundred, and so they move those popsicle sticks over to the hundreds place. The hands-on visual learning makes it much easier for the kids to understand the concept of place value. At this point, they have counted all the popsicle sticks together, finding they had 620. The teacher revisits the students' estimates to see how close they were. Moving forward, Mrs. Strand teaches the students about how to do double-digit addition. Since they have just done the place value activity, they will now have a much better understanding about how to do this addition. It is taught in a way that helps students not only know how to do the addition, but how to properly understand it as well. After Bridges lessons are taught, the students also have the chance to put their new knowledge into practice. This helps to place this new knowledge into their memory, and it also gives the teacher a chance to rotate around and help the students as needed. Another big and fun part of the Bridges math curriculum are the workplace games. Each week, students learn fun and interactive games that allow them to further practice different concepts that they have learned so far in math. Bridges includes colorful pre-made items including card decks, spinners, and game boards. From my experience as a fourth grade teacher, I found that the kids really enjoy this time because the games are fun and also let them practice what they know. So hopefully that gave you a great idea for what a typical Bridges math lesson looks like. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you again next month for our next video.